The House Select Committee investigating the January 6, 2021 attack will hold its first public hearing in prime time this week, right on Thursday night. It will be carried on all the TV networks starting at 8 o'clock p.m. except Fox News, which has opted to carry it on their business network. Should Americans watch? Will they be watching? That's what our Lisa Adams asked the chairs of the Erie County's Democratic and Republican parties earlier today. Lisa, of course, here in the studio with us tonight. What did they say, Lisa? Good evening again, Eva. Some pundits want to compare this to the Watergate hearings when everybody stopped what they were doing and watched TV for days. Today, though, with many more viewing options, will Americans weary of divided politics watch? Or do they want to put January 6th behind them? After 10 months of scrutinizing all angles of the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol behind the scenes, the House Select Committee takes it public in prime time Thursday to share their findings with the American people. Erie County Democratic Party Chair Jim Wirtz thinks people should and will be watching. I think the people who are going to be most interested in seeing uh, what this uh, committee has to, uh, to unveil are going to be those Republicans that voted for Joe Biden because they were concerned about what another Trump term would mean to the future of this country. But will there be new evidence proving former President Donald Trump had a direct role in igniting a conspiracy that fueled the violence? Or will it be a rehash of what criminal investigators already found? They worked over the uh, video uh, footage and cell phone records and everything else, and they, they found you know, the, uh, the culprits, the people with bad judgment. Erie County GOP Chair Viral Salmon believes the timing of the public hearing some 500 days after the insurrection is simply politics. It's uh, such political motivation behind this thing, whether it's uh, get Trump or just, you know, come, take advantage of free airtime. Uh, leading into the upcoming election. Wartz, though, believes there was a vast conspiracy that needs to be unpacked to protect election results and democracy. But admittedly, he is looking past Thursday to the ballot box. Every person who filed a, a lawsuit to try to overturn the election or signed on to those lawsuits needs to be held accountable. Uh, and uh, if it's not going to be done uh, with legal action, hopefully the, the voters will do it at the ballot box. Now you can look behind me here. This is our Facebook page. We ask people on social media if they will be watching when it starts at 8 p.m. Thursday here on our stations. As you can imagine, the responses vary rather dramatically. Some people saying they are imagining that will be very skewed because it is in the middle of the midterms here. Some saying absolutely not watching. It was not an insurrection. Some pretty caustic exchanges between some folks with different opinions than that, though. You can add your thoughts on our Facebook page, our Erie News Now Facebook page. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.